Good afternoon, America. It's Michael Duncan Foster here, and I am right outside Edinburgh. Right outside Edinburgh. I don't know if you can see this sign right back there, but it says Edinburgh, about a fourth mile, and I'm heading towards uh, Clarksburg and Bridgeport. Um, but I'm outside of Edinburgh, and I wanted to show you where I got to camp up tonight. I got this little spot here, deer trail. I, ha I heard deer going <laughs> all night. Deer out here, they're not scared. They're not scared of you at all. Matter of fact, they stand their ground. They let you know that they're around by doing that noise. And they'll sit there and do that noise for hours, you know. Um, in Texas, you see a deer, they run the other way. But here, they're not they're not that way. Now, I wanted to, uh, I, I'm trying to downsize. I'm trying to get rid of, uh, you know, some of the load that I have on my bike. Because I'm going up these hills and stuff. I need to get lighter. And hopefully, eventually, I can get down to just two bags. I don't know. But um, one of the things that I had to do is I, I had a Bible. The Bible that I got saved with, which was a paperback Bible, um, is just falling apart. It, the Old Testament and the New Testament were separated. The, the cover was off of it. The pages were being ripped out. And so I needed, and it was a lot of weight to carry. Um, so I had to get rid of it. Now, I don't know what exactly to do with the Bible. I mean, that's God's word. So I didn't want to burn it, and I surely didn't want to throw it away. So what I did was I buried it. And uh, because I thought about how uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls were found, and I figured if I came and buried it, I took a piece of uh, asphalt off of, uh, off of the old road out there, and I'll show you that in a minute. But I came up into the woods, and I buried the Bible right here. Okay, and I put a little cross on top right there. But I took this asphalt and I put a rock, I, I dug a hole, put a rock on there, then put the Bible on there, then put this asphalt on there and covered around it so that the rain protected it from the rain. And then I cleared it and put a cross right there. And then I said a prayer, you know, and I hope, you know, God willing, I hope that somebody finds this Bible that really needs it. I hope that it comes back, the words that, I, that, that are in it are invaluable. Um, and, and I hate to let it go. Believe me, it was hard for me to let it go. But um, I have two other Bibles, and then I have the Bible on my smartphone. So um, it was just one of the things that I did. But in order to pay honor to God and honor to Jesus, I went ahead and buried it. And I put it in a plastic bag also. I put it in a plastic bag so that the rain wouldn't get to it. And it would take a long time for it to deteriorate. Hopefully someone will find that in the future. Um, I pray that someone finds that in the future that really, really needs it. And, um, and if God willing, he'll do the right thing with it. I meant no harm and intention or disrespect it in any way. And I believe that God knows that. And if you have a Bible, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know what to tell you to do with it. Uh, do what you think, but, um, just throwing it in the trash. If it's old, I don't think you can throw God's word in the trash. And I don't think, um, we're supposed to burn Bibles. So this was the only thing that I could come up with. And other than that, peace and love to the world, you know, open up your heart, give out love believe in God and believe in Jesus because they are real. They're real. And good things will happen to you. Good things will happen to you. Um, right here is that piece of asphalt that I took off, by the way. I took it right off of here. And that's what I put it under. So I hope, I hope and I pray that I did the right thing, Lord. And I'll say my daily prayer again. Our Father who art in heaven, holy is thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give me this day, Lord, my daily bread, as I forgive those who trespass against me. And lead me not into temptation, Lord, but deliver me from evil, now and at the hour of my death. In your Son's name, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen? Amen. I'm on the road. I'm going 
that way towards Clarksburg. I'll see you next time. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless God. Peace.